solicited, you know, fans to put in some questions for you. And uh, here, here's one of them by Alex Conrad, um, Hal. He said, would a third-place finish and not making the playoff bring along major changes uh, at the end of the season? I, I would I would say that if we can march into the playoffs, 90% of our intended team that we expected to be on the field every day, 90%, and everybody's got injuries, but let's say 90%, and we don't perform well in the playoffs, I'm going to start asking the questions even then. Uh, if we don't make the playoffs, third place, fourth place, second place, I, this is a tough division, but if we don't make the playoffs and we're healthy the second half of the year and we start getting guys back and we get the, the team that we intended to be on the field, on the field, then I'm going to be asking some tough questions. Another one is from Real Bo Sheck. He said, with the hitting struggling the way it is, Hal, is Lawson on the hot seat? Nobody's on the hot seat right now. Let's get through the season. Let's find, you know, let's see what happens. There, there's no way that, that Stanton and Rizzo aren't going to start hitting, uh, and the others as well, I'm sure. Um, you know, we get continue to get contributions from guys like Bowers. It's been a pleasant surprise. Um, I, I think we're going to be fine. I believe we're going to be fine. But, you know, people can call me delusional for saying that. But these guys are just too good. And, again, I saw what we could be those two two or so weeks in May when Judge came back from that first injury. I saw what we can be. We, we can be a force. The patience with Volpe, Hal, is that just about you, your organization, see something that he'll come out of it or just don't want to discourage him by sending him down? Well, look, the defense is solid, which to me is the most important thing in a shortstop. But you know, I think I think the league has adjusted to him. He's going to he's going to make some adjustments as well, and he's going to have to. Uh, we knew this was you know we knew this was not, not going to be an easy thing from day one. He was 21, right, at the beginning of the season. Um, but again, as I've said, I, I assured him when I talked to him that he's a starting shortstop for the New York Yankees. You know, through the good times and the potentially tough times. And I knew there was going to be potentially tough times. I think everybody did. Um, and, you know, offensively, he's going through that right now. But he's, uh, he's got everything it takes to be a starting shortstop for the New York Yankees. But he's got to make some adjustments. He's going to continue to work on it, which he is. But believe me, there have been no discussions, you know, as of now, of sending him down. Um, how long is the runway, Hal, for Josh, who actually plays very good defense at third, but it's been about 500 at-bats dating the last year, and he has not been the offensive player that – everyone thought he was going to be. So how long is that runway? You know, I don't know. I haven't thought about it. He has struggled offensively, although he's, he's hit a couple home runs, which, which is good uh, since he's been back. But defensively, he's, he's solid at third base. We haven't talked about any, like, any type of timeline as to when we will have had enough. Um, so right now he's, you know, our starting third baseman most games, and uh, we hope that he's going to turn things around offensively. How about the uh... – Stanton, uh, when you look back at what you thought you were going to get in 2018, and there's been times he's been very good in the postseason, but now being able to stay consistently in the lineup, what's your overall feeling of of evaluating that trade with Miami as you've looked over it over the last few seasons? Well, there was no way back then that we were not going to make that trade. That's, that's mm -hmm. number one. Um, he's a special talent. And we've seen when he's on, he can carry a team. I mean, he can literally carry a team. Uh, I think he's always been a little bit hot, cold, hot, cold, particularly when he comes off the I.L., which he just did. Uh, but th this is not, what he's doing right now, this is not going to continue. That, there's no way this is going to continue. So he's going he's to catch fire. And, and, again, when he does, he can, he can, he can pick up a whole team.